Hello and welcome to Airhead Weapons. It has been a while, but I am back with a new system that's been out for, I think, about six or seven months, and it is a repeating crossbow. Yep, you heard it right, repeating crossbow. I'm sure you guys have heard of this before, because it's fucking awesome. You might not also know that um, I've spent a lot of my time on my other channel, which is Jang's Food Workshop. We've just reached 107,000 subscribers, so thanks for that. And my daily vlog, which has 2,000 subscribers, called Chin. So yeah, anyway, back to the video. So we have the Cobra System RS, R series. It's by EK Archery, so it is a budget brand, but every EK thing I've ever owned has actually been pretty decent. Like, quite well built, um, had a string snap, but because the strings are so cheap, you just buy a load at a time. Sorry about the banging, we've got work going on upstairs. This is an unboxing, I haven't looked through this. I've cut the, the sellotape here, deliberately, just so I don't have to do that on camera, but here we go. Very, very nice. So we have Cobra system, manual. And here is the, oh, quite well packaged. Oh, I'm liking that, oh. Okay, so it is very, I mean, obviously it's gonna be plasticky because it's EK and it's not gonna be throughout. Oh, I'll tell you what though, it, it does feel pretty, I don't know how he low or heavy the trigger's gonna be until we get the bow on. But the plastic suit feels really well made. I guess that's the cocking. Yeah, that's the cocking system. So it's a self-cocking. Is that's why one of the reasons I wanted it. It's really easy. 130 um, pound draw weight. So it's, oh, something in here. Ah, oh, buttstock. You'll like this buttstock because it's like an AR buttstock. Be nice if that was rubber though. Feels like underneath it's rubber, but the cap is plastic. Hmm. Weird. And here we go. Oh, it comes with bolts. I actually bought a load of bolts myself because I wasn't sure if that was going to happen. There's the. I need to go get that. That's the magazine. Pretty cool. I mean, you can get this Adler without the magazine, and I think it's 100 quid less. But I mean, for repeating, this total I think cost me 300 and something. It might have been even less. I'll put the actual cost up now. Hold on, I'll find out now. So, yeah, this cost me 330, and then I had to pay 20 quid for posters because obviously it's face to face postage. But, you know. That was from Pelpax, and their deliveries are always brilliant. Um, they're always really well packed, so I really do recommend Pelpax. Unless, of course, there's another company out there who wants to pay me to say their name otherwise. <laughs> mm. Five bolts as well. These are quite expensive, the bolts. I've bought two packs, and the packs are 32 quid each, I think, or thereabouts. But they're really nice. They feel like almost carbon fibre. They're really light, and... The ends, the heads, sorry, are the only heavy part. They feel really good. Put them in the box a bit weirdly. So now, and there's a 10, it's, yeah, so they work out to be about £3.20 each. But I mean, so when you say it like that, it's not a lot. But when you can't buy them just one by one, and you have to buy them a pack of 10. So that's 25 bolts I've got all together. Sweet! Eye protection, safety first, thank you very much, EK. My eyeballs are important to me, as without them, I cannot see. I didn't mean to rhyme, but that, that worked. So that's some string lube, and probably some sort of bung for the rail. Yeah, string wax loops. There's the, sh the um, bow string. Nice little carrier. I say carrier, but you know I mean sling. Oh, there's got one attached already. Do you know what? Part of the reasons that I really hate um, 
EK is that a lot of the time you have to build and pull the first bow on yourself and it's a fucking nightmare. As a lot of you can have said in my videos trying to get that um, bow on, even on the small strings is a nightmare but that's a nice touch. That is a nice touch that's pre-built and pre-installed for you and you've got a spare which I wasn't expecting. Well fucking done, that's brilliant. That's nice looking as well. I expected it to be a bit bigger, but I mean 130, what am I expecting? And then something there. Oh, something in there as well. Right, let's see what's in here. Oh uh, cool, you've got handle. I think a difference. Not sure what that is. Yeah, I'm not sure what that is. Different butt stop. I don't know, different ends of the butt. Oh, that's not right. No idea, I'll figure that out later. This is the most intriguing thing of them all, it's in a box. Oh, sweet! Oh, and it has a battery. Do you know what? I completely forgot this comes with all of this stuff. Nice little touch. Stuff like that makes all the difference. The red dot sight. Seems pretty cheap. What do you expect when it's free? Cool though. Nice little touch. So there we go. That is the unboxing. Oh, I forgot. Oh, I didn't forget. I just Alan key in there. So there we go. This is everything you get in the kit. I've seen no videos of people actually showing you exactly what it comes like. So I thought I'd better, oh well, I thought I'd do one just for fun anyway, but yeah. So there's quite a lot of stuff. You've got your goggles, you've got five bolts, you've got your front tactical handle. This is a replacement for that, so if you want a flat butt. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a child. So if you want that to be flat, there you go. There's the option there. Your body itself, red dot sight, your magazine, your um, arm, spare, string. The recurve part of this actually comes with the string attached, which I think is fucking brilliant. You've got a sling, harness, whatever you want to call it. Battery for the red dot sight, Allen key. You've got some more Allen keys in here. Um, that came so you can clean your red dot sight. Uh, it's pretty comp comprehensive and it's got the manual as well, which I've just taken a look through when you guys went here and it's really nicely laid out. Nice. A nice manual and it's on nice paper as well which makes a difference it makes you feel like they give a shit so there we go there's everything i also like how the limb limb set has also got these bungs on to stop the um the string from hitting any of the other components and snapping that's that's something you only find on like middle to higher range bows crossbows well maybe it's more common now but back in the day I'm really really impressed with this i can't wait to start shooting so yeah, thanks for watching guys. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I might do a building of this as a video, as a time lapse. But I just think it's just gonna be so quick and easy that it'll be pointless. But thanks for watching anyway. Take care, and as always, remember, stay safe, shoot true. I'm just making something up on, on the spot. I'm, I'm just, just, <laughs> just do cool things. <laughs> Take care. I'm so used to all my other channels having a sign off on this one I don't, so. I also automatically went into a sign-off and realised there isn't one for this. My bad.